Hey everyone, my name is Trevor Spires. I run pre-sales solutions architecture at Common Room. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how sales engineers use Common Room to accelerate their customer's adoption journey and close more business for their company. As an SE, Common Room is one of the most powerful tools in my kit because it allows me to use data to do my job better. When I log into Common Room in the morning, sometimes I'll just briefly check if there's any new members who've recently joined my company's online community or who signed up for a free trial that may be interesting to reach out to. So I may be looking for technical personas like an architect or a developer. And I may also check new organizations that have recently started engaging with my company. What makes Common Room so powerful is not just the ability to parse organizations and members and their activity. It's the advanced filters that we can apply on top of that to make it really usable and actionable. Let me show you how I do that inside of Common Room segments. So segments are these smart lists that I can create so I can manage different tasks and segments tend to be where I get most of my work done as a sales engineer. This is one of the, the segments I use the most right now. This segment is called Common Room Sales Prospecting Dashboard. This is a segment that I made to help my reps find new leads in their accounts. What this segment is showing me is all of the people that are engaging with my online community and using a free tier of my product who are not currently in our sales pipeline. So these are customers that we would wanna be prospecting into. The way I use this is pretty simple. I'll find a sales rep that I think I can help prospect. So today I'll pick Jordan and I'll filter on all of Jordan's accounts. Within this dashboard, I get important signals. I find out, has the customer been logging into the product? How active have they been? Have they been looking at our web pages? Have they been opening marketing emails? And I have all of this important information in a single view. Have they been commenting on our community Slack? So I'll scroll through this dashboard to look for intent signals on people that are at companies that I think may be interesting for us to speak with. And very quickly, I find interesting prospects that I should flag for my rep. For example, I've got a senior manager at Box who has been logging into our Slack channel and who's been logging into the product. These are strong intent signals. And since they're not in pipeline, we should probably reach out to Box to see if we could open a deal. I also see somebody who again is logging into my product, but we don't have any deals open. The CEO of Via is logging into my product. So I'm gonna to want to reach out to that customer. How I would tend to do that is if they're a technical persona, I might reach out to them myself. And if they're not a technical persona, I'll just pop into their profile and tag the account manager and say, hey Jordan, Go ahead and reach out. And I may even include some context so that way he can craft an email or some type of outreach message on Slack to try to secure a meeting with that customer. So I can use this dashboard for my top of funnel activity, but as an SE, I spend a small amount of my time in the top of funnel trying to generate new deals and new pipeline and more of my time in proof of values and in demos trying to close deals. So I have another very useful segment where I track all of my proof of value. So any customer that's in a proof of value will automatically be added to this segment. This allows me to identify risk as an example. If I pop in to look at Claire's proof of concepts, I can quickly see all the customers that she's working with. And she has a couple who haven't been logging into the product in the last 30 days. To me, this is a trigger as an SE to ask the question, well, if they're not logging into the product, in an eval, they're probably not gonna log into it if they buy it. So let's go ahead and find out what's preventing these customers from logging into the product. So at this point, I may notify Claire in our weekly meetings to try to make a plan for how we'll re-engage these accounts. On the alternative, I may see that a customer like Neon is highly engaged in logging in and having a lot of product activity. This tells me this is a great proof of concept that's going pretty well. The customer's likely getting value out of the tool already. Now it's just up to us to document the value that they're getting. Why are they logging into the tool? What are they doing when they log into the tool and turn that into a business justification? As an SE that covers a few different sales reps, I find dashboards like these really helpful in establishing a strong partnership between me and my sales reps, and also just getting more visibility and measuring the success of different proof of concepts based on product usage data. As a sales engineer, I'm uniquely positioned to reach out to customers and offer help to try to secure meetings and uncover pipeline. And in common room, I'm able to monitor 
various different sources. Right now I'm looking at all of our socials and our online support Slack community. And from there, I'm able to see if customers are asking product questions or submitting bugs or important product feedback. In addition to being able to visualize this in the graphical interface, I actually get notifications anytime a customer across one of those channels submits a product complaint or a feature request or a bug or has a product question. So I'm getting alerted on a Slack channel anytime one of these occurs. This is very helpful because then I have a constant feed of questions and bugs being reported that I can either proxy on to my product manager team or I can use this to add value to the customer. If my customer is asking a question, I can answer that question or offer to get on a short call with the customer to solve their problem. And this helps me move deals forward and qualify new business. I hang out in these channels all the time and identify when customers are asking questions, book quick meetings, and then talk to my account manager and say, hey, I just got on a call with this customer who had a question about the product. I solved their problem. And guess what? They want to talk about how we could turn this into a paid plan for their company. It's something that you just don't really have visibility into unless you have a tool like Common Room that will notify you of product questions, feature requests, and bugs across channels. And we do that by plugging into these channels to listen to what's going on from your customers. And we use AI and ML to classify different activities based on these categories. So that way you can be notified of the specific information that is interesting to you in your role. The last thing I'll show you that I use Common from Room for regularly is to connect with people in my local area. So I'm an SE who lives in Boston, Massachusetts, and I plan to live in Boston, Massachusetts, hopefully for the rest of my career. And my segment notifies me anytime a customer or potential customer in the Boston area joins our online community or signs up for a free trial. So I'm constantly going into LinkedIn and adding these people. Sometimes I'll include a short personal note, but this is a way for me to broaden the network in my own part of the world and my own territory. These are relationships that I can take with me and staying connected on LinkedIn, liking their content, sharing content that they may engage with is a great way to nurture relationships in my local area that you know, today, maybe there's LinkedIn connections, but tomorrow, maybe there are customers or prospects that I can reach out to. So this is how I keep my own personal funnel on LinkedIn full by getting notified of folks in my local area or in areas that I'm hoping to sell into. So in short, Common Room gives me a whole lot of data about my customers that I just wasn't able to see prior to using this tool. CRMs don't really give this level of product usage in social media and online community visibility and to have all of that data in a central location, it makes it very easy for me to make decisions and get input on my proof of values. And of course, engage with customers proactively to try to uncover new business for my reps. Because as an SE, keeping my reps happy, keeping my pipeline full, and keeping my proof of values on track are critical to my job. So anything that makes it easier for me to do that is a huge value add. Hope this helps and let us know if you'd like to consider using Common Room for your sales engineering teams.